How do you pair wine with desserts? Ooh, uh, fun question. So um, uh, this is a place where there is actually a hard and fast rule that I hard and fast abide by. So um, I, A, first and foremost, I love, love, love dessert wine. I lament the fact that, um, A, no one orders dessert wine. So, you know, if you want to ingratiate yourself to your, you know, nerdy sommelier friend, order dessert wine. You know, if you like your company, you know, extend the meal. It's so good. Like, dessert wine is, is very much the original wine. Um, uh, sweet wines in antiquity were the most lauded wines. They age incredibly beautifully. Um, they're, they're so good. Don't, don't let anyone think that or tell you that you know, sweet wine is morally debased. I think people feel guilty for liking sweet things. Like, lean into it. Like, just go. Um, but uh, when it comes to pairing with desserts, there is a hard and fast rule um, that, you know, biologically works and is important um, with a few exceptions that are, that are mostly spirit forward for chemical reasons that we're not going to touch on for this class. But if you're working with unadulterated wine, the wine itself kind of has to be as sweet as or sweeter than the dessert. That's just how it works. Otherwise, the wine just gets lost. Um, the dessert runs roughshod over it and makes the wine seem insipid, um, even if it's amazing. Um, please, you know, like like some fruity reds. So I was I was pleasantly surprised how well the coming worked with the the sandy. But like, it's not a great pairing. They're they're that that's like it's like an unobjectionable pairing. It's not a great pairing. Great pairings are that convergence where, you know, uh, there is this greater whole. So, uh, you know, the, the Hippocratic oath of some life is first do no harm. So, you know, at, at the base level, you don't wanna, you know, mess with the food. So, you know, the food should always come first, you know, and you as a psalm don't wanna, you know, ruin people's enjoyment of that, um, you know, but above and beyond that, what you're seeking is, you know, a, whole that is greater than the sum of the parts. Um, you know, I, I think with the pre-rot, like, you know, one plus one equals two, yeah, yada, yada, that's fine. They're both there, you know, they're not, you know, really, you know, uh, messing uh, one up, um, they're, they're fine. But to get to that greater place, um, uh, I think with dessert in particular, you need a certain amount of sweetness in a wine. And, and, and it gives you an excuse to explore these amazing styles, um, you know, uh, Sauterne, Tokai, um, uh, Madeira, um, you know, port, um, you know, there's just like so many, uh, uh, you know, amazing sweet wines that no one ever orders, um, you know, uh, so they're, they're just, just take that leap. And the other thing too, is that, you know, because they're sweet, they're, they're more durable. So, you know, you get a bottle of, um, you know, like Baranoslesa or, or, or Trocken Baranoslesa, which is fun to say, um, um, or ice vine or whatever, um, you can leave it in the fridge and it'll be fine. You know, like, like revisit like that, that exists. So, um, you know, uh, you broaden, broaden the universe. Like, I think, you know, people get really hung up on like one style of wine that they drink, like, you know, explore the space, savor the flavors, you know? Um, and, and that includes sweeter dry, um, you know, and, and then the other thing is too, like, you know, trot these wines out, these sweet wines out with apparently, um, you know, uh, savory friendly things. So, you know, there's a reason why the French, you know, get all worked up about foie gras and sartarin. It fucking works. It works. You know, you have to be, you know, like a rich, you know, kind of, I, I imagine like rich monks, you know, drinking sartarin and, and foie gras, but, you know, we should all be that lucky. Like, it, it, it's good. And like these sweeter, um, you know, kind of uh, desserty wines, uh, particularly with like, like unctuously fatty things work beautifully. So like, ah, uh, uh, uh blow everybody's mind, like, uh, Sauterne and, like, Bosom, like, you know, uh, you know, Thai, like, really spicy Thai food, like, it's, it's stupid good, like, they're, they're so good, like, sweet wine deserves a place in this world, and, um, is getting canceled for reasons that, you know, aren't its fault, you know, just like, yeah, go there, sorry. <laughs>